Hey all, so welcome to Colorado Custom Leather and Blades Nasty Civilian segment where you get to know me. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a pocket dump or what I have as my everyday carry. Starting with my watch, I've actually taken it off. This is a undone brand. This is um, solar charged, uh, only solar charged. There is, there, is, there is a battery in there, but this has a very, 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 very long life expectancy. And my former boss in Ohio get, gave this to me when I uh, left the company after I think six years. And um, they actually hired me when I was homeless. I got, uh, I made a decision that I don't regret, but um, I was gonna, I moved out of Ohio to go help a guy with a project. And I think it was Virginia. And um, things went south and uh, moved back home to Ohio. I was homeless and they hired me and I worked for them for six years. And then I had to leave and it was towards the time when I moved back home to Colorado. So that is the undone watch. Uh, glasses, I wear glasses, I hate glasses. I wear them for driving and I just keep them on my face because yeah, I, I hate glasses. I can't wait to get lazy. Um, sunglasses wise though, these have been my most reliable. I've always wanted to get these and I did a few years back. Um, these are gaiters. Uh, and when I'm working in the shop sometimes uh, and I'm forging and stuff, these things are awesome. When I go to the range, I'm outside on an outside side range, freaking awesome. These are the longest lasting sunglasses I've ever owned. They are reliable, dependable, steel framed, ballistic lenses. Uh, doesn't mean they're bulletproof. Okay. Don't, 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 don't let somebody shoot you. Um, but they're, they're my favorite glasses. They have last longest. And by the way, Gators is an awesome company. Uh, American made, uh, American based, uh, owned, operated by Navy SEALs. Yeah. Um, anyways, still awesome product, awesome brand. And they are worth, yes, they're expensive, but they are worth it because they come with a lifetime warranty. But again, you also support an awesome organization. And no, they don't pay me for anything. Uh, this is just why I carry what I do is quality, reliability. That is the standpoints. Okay, so moving on, let's go with flashlight. Um, I carry this pretty much every day with me. Um, when I'm going somewhere, it depends on what day, time of the day it is. If I'm going inside of a building, I always have a light on me. Um, if I'm gonna be outside or something like that, I'm not, but I usually have one on my truck or on me. And this is not an O light, not a certified light. This is through night. And now, some companies try to copy each other. I get that. Um, and you know, an Olight has a pretty a pretty steep price stamp. So does Surelight uh, or Surefire. Uh, there's actually one that's a TLR, TRL or something like that, T something. Um, very expensive. But let me just show you this. This is at three, this is 3,000 lumens. This thing's friggin' bright for 65 bucks. And it's rechargeable. I love the rechargeability fact. I've actually have it. I'm getting one for my uh, get home bag that I have in my truck with my medical supplies. And knife wise, my EDC, is, this is the only knife I have on me uh, when I'm not working and I'm just at home or working in the shop until I go full time anyways. Um, but this is my everyday carry knife. This is my shop knife. This is what I open boxes with, cut paracord with, whatever. This is a Boker. And I think this series of the Boker is actually German steel it's, uh, and it's um, assembled here in Colorado. Um, but very nice knife, 64 layers of Damascus, real Damascus. Um, but yeah, love that knife. Got that actually the weekend of my wedding when my wife and I went up to Estes and uh, spent some time there, kind of our kind of pre-honeymoon uh, to our honeymoon. Um, anyways, so, and then of course the Pebble, which is my self-defense design. This is the little brother to the stone. Uh, and this is high carbon steel, of course, and very primitive looking. They're supposed to be, I'm gonna hopefully forge out a series of these this fall, but this is a self-defense knife, so it always has a razor edge, and it has a focus, uh, what I call a fast deployment sheet system, which is actually something I picked up off of uh, Two Lamb with Ronin Tactics, something he, I don't know if he developed, but he carries, and I was like, man, that that's smart. Anyways, okay, moving on, um, I actually, Pull this out of my pocket uh, before I started the video, but I'm trying to get back in the habit of carrying a notepad with me when I have ideas or something like that. Very handy and again, not sponsored, but right in the rain, you can't go wrong with that. They're for these guys, they're pretty cheap for what you can do literally, oil, coffee, water doesn't matter, it won't smear, your notes will stay. Um, and if you're someone that likes to do long range shooting or something like that. 
um, hunting whatever and you need to tape something to your rifle so you have calculations, it's good stuff. But I want to share a quote with you that I wrote last year. I actually found this, this notepad the other day in my truck. Uh, the person that knows pure chaos will know true peace when they find their peace. They will also be peace in the chaos. Wrote that August 4th, 2021. Moving on. And ending here. Actually, no, I got to tell you the hat. The hat. The hat is important because I actually got this hat close to the time when I moved back home to take care of my mom the last couple years of her life. Um, I was her guardian, and it was getting really difficult for as fast as she was progressing with early onset Alzheimer's. Um, and I got this hat the second to the last visiting trip when I said, you know what, uh, God's calling me to move back home to Colorado. I'm going. And I went. Um, but this hat is was one that I bought. I was like, I don't think I'm going to forge in this one. And I, as soon as I went back home to call, Ohio, I started forging in it. And ever since then, this has been my working hat and forever will be. Uh, I think this and my original drawing of my logo of Colorado Custom Mother and Blades, the brand, uh, will go in a case somewhere in the shop once I actually have my shop open. All right, moving on here. I carry a Springfield XDM for right now. We'll, it will be replaced by a Glock 19. Let's go ahead and make this guy safe here real quick. So you guys can see. Okay, so yep, yeah, um, Springfield XDM, uh, nine millimeter, 3.8. So it is a compact. And inside with the pinky grip, we have a 11 round mag. And then I think sometimes I carry with me, most of the time I'll have them just in my truck, I have a 13 round backup uh, with a flat. Um, and then for right now, because I, I don't really, I haven't bought a uh, appendix carry system. I'm just rocking a leather one on the side. This is not a leather, a leather holster I have made, but I do make them. This is actually for the 22 I'm making right now. But anyways, um, so yeah, um, I like Springfield. I do. It's one of the oldest firearm manufacturer companies or brands uh, to the United States. Even though they're owned and been sold to Croatia, they still have a pretty reliable product in my opinion. I've shot, I've owned an XDS and I've now owned this XDM and I've put lots and lots of rounds to them. Um, I have I did my own customization um, on my uh, on my on my uh, grip here, grip purchase, and uh, um, I, I there's this plus and minuses to every firearm I think, and this is definitely going to stay uh, in I don't want to say collection, but in my inventory. But the Glock 19 will be replacing it, and looking forward to that. So let's see, is that is that it? Uh, nope, I have a heart too. Uh, anyways, guys, God blood, uh, God loves you. I mean that that is true. I said I'm not afraid to share my faith. Um, and that is, that is something that I hold with me is my face. So I guess that is an everyday carry and I got to share that with you. Jesus loves you. Um, anyways, um, guys, God bless. Stay safe out there. If you carry certain things, get the training, you know, don't be one of those people that, you know, you think, you know, everything, man. There's people that have been in real environments that train for those real environments that still learn. And for us, especially being a nasty civilian, um, be hungry for knowledge. Be eager to learn because what you learn and the knowledge that you obtain could be what saves your life one day. That goes from everyday carry, self-defense to survival to whatever. I mean, this is why I make the knives that I do out of high carbon steel, for example, because I live by the two things of reliability, dependability, um, or quality and reliability. There it is. All right, guys. God bless, and we'll hopefully do another video here soon. Enjoy the other videos, a part of the Colorado Custom Mother and Blades NASI Civilian segment.